Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, whether Donald Trump could have won the 2016 election without Vladimir Putin's help, we'll never know for sure. Don't forget, during the last week, James Comey made his announcement that he was reopening his investigation into Hillary Clinton. Uh, that had to have some effect, especially since he didn't announce that they were investigating the Trump campaign for colluding with the Russians, that would have had a big effect if he'd have made that announcement. And there were a lot of working class people who voted for Trump for reasons that had little or nothing to do with anything the Russians did. But the fact is that Trump did get help from Russia. The meddling, and, by, and this meddling by the Russians was an act of war. And anybody who colluded or abetted, abetted or encouraged it, since it was an act of war, is guilty of treason. And there were a lot of people in Trump's inner circle who did exactly those things. And they weren't rogue operators. The idea that they were all uh, communicating with the Russians behind Donald Trump's back is ridiculous. They were doing it at his behest and communicating what he wanted them to could communicate. So now we're seeing the Trump administration clumsily trying to cover these things up. But the cover-up actually began well before the election. The Trump campaign, for example, got the Russians to soften their stance on the Russians in Ukraine and then tried to cover that up. Paul Manafort was fired when his connections with Russia uh, became all too apparent. And don't forget, don't forget, Trump started attacking our intelligence agencies long before Election Day. But their attempted cover-up has been clumsy and inept. They keep denying things, and then a day or two later, it turns out that the denials were lies. The more they try to act innocent, the guiltier they look. The clumsiest part of the cover-up so far happened this week when Devin Nunez rushed to the White House with some kind of information that he had received about Trump and his associates. As chairman of the Intelligence Committee, he had a responsibility to communicate whatever he had learned to the community, he, to the committee. He didn't do that. Instead, he ran to the White House in a panic to talk to Trump. And what this new evidence was, I don't know, because uh, Nunez not only hasn't revealed it to the public, but he hasn't revealed it to the other committee members. So the Republicans now have a choice. Are they going to actually investigate the Trump treason that is ongoing in the administration? This was not a one-time thing. It's still happening. Or are they going to become part of the cover-up? If they, like Devin Nunez, decide to be part of the cover-up, the cloud of suspicion that now surrounds Trump will in envelope, in envelop them. And it looks like the facts are eventually going to come out. So right now, the GOP is the party of Trump. Do they want to become known as the party of treason? Thanks for listening.